Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bright Eyes, so I'm doing another tutorial. As you can see, these are one of my stocking patterns. This is the medium size stocks. So I'm just showing you in the video how to put it together. So just watch my video and you will see how to put this together at home. So I already finished cutting out the pattern and I'm using the same pattern to make the stocks, the stockings. So one was for the, the designs with the reindeers and the second one was for the felt. So now that I finished putting the embroidery design, I am going to sew the stockings together with the cuff and the socks with the design, the front and the back. Now I'm taking my pinking shears and I'm going to cut off the extra seam allowance. Because the fabric is very thin, I'm taking the extra felt that I cut out and I'm going to sew it together to give the socks more value and thickness and fullness. Okay, so now I'm going to sew on my home sewing machine because I want to edge stitch the socks together and because I want to make the stitch larger because I just needed to keep the felt and socks together. Okay, so now I'm taking the design that I have with the deers and I'm gonna sew the socks together, but I, and I'm also gonna sew the hook for the socks as well. Now, what I did, I accidentally sewed the socks completely. I was supposed to leave an opening at the bottom, at least about four inches, or, or to at least have four fingers fit at the bottom. So because I make that mistake, I'm taking my steam ripper and loosen the bottom part. So right now, I also just sew the hook to the socks. Now here, this is where I'm gonna sew the socks completely together, half an inch all the way around. This is the only time you will sew half an inch. Okay, right here, I'm just taking my pinky shears and I'm just cutting the extra 
fabric. A steam allowance. Okay, now I'm just prepping the socks. I'm taking the bone, making sure the seams are neat. And now I'm gonna take the outer part of the socks, put it inside the other part of the socks, and sew the top part together, as you can see in the video. Oh, now you can see in the video, I'm gonna just sew all around the socks to make it to complete. So now I'm taking the pinking shears and I'm just cutting off the extra seam allowance at the top so I'll be able to fix the socks properly. And now I'm just preparing the bottom part of the socks because I'm going to sew it and close it right now and make sure you back tap it. And now I'm just putting the socks inside the socks, and there you have it. It's all done.